Hey, good morning. How y'all doing? It is Well Red Beard. Uh, we're here for a book review. A book review. Kind of a book review. Not really a book review. I don't know. We're going to talk about some poetry. Now, I get it. You, you're like, nah, I'm going to the next video. I don't, I'm not here to really hear about poetry. Well, I'm going to try to sell you on poetry, why I read poetry. Poetry's got a lot of different uh, benefits to it. Uh, for me, well, first of all, I am one of these people that like to read a shit ton of books, right? Like I like my numbers to be high, um, you know, and um, and poetry is great for that because you know you can get through them fairly quickly. Now you can't just zip through it; you gotta gotta kind of you know let it um, let it stew, let it stir, let it you know you know, gotta kind of uh, contemplate on it. That's how I read poetry anyway. But um, the point I'm trying to make is you can you know knock out. A few books that way um also for me it's a great palate cleanser you know between like if you read a couple big heavy novels and, and you, you kind of you know cleanse the palate in between with some poetry um you know it's it's great for you know little short stretches where, where you where you know you again i'm i'm one of these people i try not to waste any time so although i've wasted time you know running my mouth here but i try not to waste any time and so like you know, if I've got five minutes, I, I actually try to do something with that five minutes. So, you know, it's great to pick up in five minutes. You can read, you know, two, three, four, five poems, whatever. Um, so, uh, and also for me, it kind of, I mean, while I'm not really in a creative cycle right now, uh, poetry is like the only thing that's really like, um, like I read it and it kind of spawns, sparks creativity so um look I, I really enjoy it uh, for all those reasons uh but today we are here to talk about not sleepy yet by alexander p garza and this is from weasel press um i really enjoyed this book um and it's um it's probably you know so far on the year it's probably in my top five poetry reads of the year i don't know we have to look back and see um, but, um, I'm going to read the synopsis, which I don't normally do, which I may start doing. I don't know. Again, I'm just kind of reinventing, uh, the well-read beard platform here, but, um, Alexander P. Garza's first collection of dark poems, not sleepy yet. Weasel Press 2021 introduces us to a fresh and vibrant new voice in speculative poetry. I cannot believe I was able to say speculative without stumbling over it. All right. The poems are a late night reverie guiding us through lucid dreams and nightmares. Garza divides his poems into three sections, the unraveling, getting to know each other, and now we'll screw this one up, tiniblas, tiniblas, tiniblas. It means darkness, but it's tiniblas, tiny blas. All of which explore his family and his relationship to the supernatural. In his journey through this darkening dream world, Garza also weaves folklore and superstitions of his family into his poems. This is an excellent read. Uh, Welcome to the Dark Side, Alexander. And that was written by David E. Cowan, uh, Bram Stoker nominated author of Bleeding Saffron. So, um, not really a synopsis, uh, more of like a, a review, a long blurb. Uh, so, like, for all those reasons, I really like this book. Like, I loved the blending of, like, darkness and family and uh, folklore and and family and, um, you know, uh, superstitions and family. I love the family element of this book. I love the, you know, the relationships between, you know, father and daughter, uh, husband and wife. Uh, the That stuff just felt... Uh, authentic, uh, palpable, I don't know, but you, it was just, I liked that aspect of this book, so, um, I gave it four stars, um, really enjoyed it, um, again, probably top five on the year, I'm gonna, uh, read my favorite poem from the book, which actually is kind of, I mean, I thought it was the first one, but it's not, there, there's a, there's a poem in here that we open with called Vein Opener, it's kind of cool, kind of a, just title, cool title to open a poetry collection with, vein opener. Uh, but then we get into getting to know each other, which is uh, the first section. Maybe not. Let me look at this real quick. Uh, yeah, getting to know each other is the first section 
of the book. Um, I kind of got thrown there because in the blurb thing, it, it didn't list in that order. But So this one's called Sunday at Dawn. I'm going to turn my volume down a little bit here, see if I can get through this without messing up. Now, I will say that um, Mr. Garza uses um, a mixture of English and Spanish, and so I will probably mispronounce, stumble over a few words here. Um, I really enjoy that. I enjoy the mix. Now, I did take four years of Spanish in high school, but I'm very out of practice. Uh, um, I know that's a conversation like uh, Gabrielle or Gabriel, oh, Gabriel. It's Gabino, sorry. Gabino Iglesias talks about that a lot, about getting a lot of flack for his use of Spanglish or, you know, use of Spanish in his books. I enjoy that, man. If you're not growing, what are you doing? If you're not learning, what are you doing? Anyway, this one's called Sunday at Dawn. Uh, Madrugada de Domingo. Sunday at dawn, cars strolled down Old Dixie Drive, rubber to pavement, engines purring, reminiscent of the Gulf's Chorus. I like that, reminiscent of the Gulf's Chorus. December is everyone's favorite. My wife knits a blanket, though he'll be here any day now. My wife is just as passionate about me as she was before she was expecting I, I like that too. I mean, I like the idea of her knitting the blanket, uh, even though he's going to be here any day. Love the idea of uh, her being just as passionate about him, uh, even though there's a baby coming. She leads, now listen to this. This is my favorite part of the poem. She leads surprise attacks of love, engulfs my senses, endorphin high, glazed eyes, gentle nudge of earth out of orbit for a little while. I love that. Gentle nudge of earth out of orbit for a little while. Uh, memory creation, touch, sequence, formation. I tell her, you are beautiful. I tell her, you are pretty. But these words are more than lacking. I tell her that I want you. I tell her that I love you. But these phrases aren't ones that give these feelings justice. An elegance eludes them. The earthly won't suffice. She says that it's enough to show it all through actions. Entonces, continuare mostrando como te amo este madrugada de domingo. Now, I looked that up when I read it. Um, I don't remember what it means. Of course, I do know that madrugada de domingo means Sunday at dawn or the dawn of Sunday or however you want to say it. But again, she leads surprise attacks of love, engulfs my senses, endorphin high, glazed eyes, gentle nudge of earth out of orbit for a little while. I love that shit. Uh, this is Not Sleepy Yet by Alexander P. Garza. Again, it's Darkness Meets Family. Bit of, a bit of horror poetry, but, you know, a lot of family stuff, a lot of, you know, day-to-day -day human stuff. Um, really, really enjoyed it. Uh, four stars for me. Not Sleepy Yet, Alexander P. Garza, Weasel Press, Well Red Beard. I hope you enjoyed your time here. I hope you're enjoying all your books as much as I am. If not, you're reading the wrong damn books.